back, relax, maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hi guys, so I am here today to do a book review and this is one I've been meaning to do for a while because I read this quite a month or two ago now but I loved it and so I needed to get my thoughts a bit in order because when I finished it if I had filmed a review straight after finishing this you'd have just been like what are you talking about because I loved it and the book is Morning Star by Pierce Brown it's the final one in the series that he's done the trilogy the Red Rising trilogy and it is fantastic. This series as a whole has been such an adventure for me. I've loved it. I bought the first one and really, really enjoyed it. Then bought the second one. Didn't enjoy it quite as much, but still thought it was really kick-ass. And the third one, well, the third one, this one, so incredibly good. I honestly cannot recommend this series higher to you. If you like YA, if you like adult, it doesn't matter. This is considered an adult series, but it does follow some teenage characters, so you could read it either way. I think this is a great, great sci-fi series. It focuses on a character called Darrow in the first book, and he is a red. We work on a sort of hierarchical society, so we have reds at the bottom, golds at the top, and then different colours in between. Reds have been working on Mars to mine out Mars to make it habitable for people from Earth to colonise. So the Reds already live there, but they want to mine it out for people on Earth to come and live there. They live very deep underground and they don't really see other humans very often, except for people who are basically giving them orders. And it's a very regimented lifestyle, but they know in their heart of hearts that they're doing it for something good. They're doing it for the greatness and the race of humanity, which is a wonderful cause. However, in book one, we find out that this is not the case, and actually they've been lied to. Mars is already colonised by Earth, the Reds just don't know it, and the Reds are just being used to mine out Mars and basically do stuff for the Golds. So, we follow Darrow as he discovers this, and he tries to infiltrate the Golds and become one of them in order to get his revenge for everything that they've lied to the Reds about. So he becomes the sort of spokesperson the hidden spokesperson for the Reds. I love the concept, but I will say within this series, it's not just the concept that's interesting and fun, the characters are fantastic and I really, really like them. I wish there were more female characters, that's my only real complaint is that I wish there were more female characters, because I think the ones he does, he does decently, um, but we don't see as much of them as the male characters, but what we do see of all the characters is fantastic. This book in particular blew my socks off so many times when I was reading it. I honestly, honestly was astounded by some of the directions that he took this in. I did not see them coming and I was just enthralled, utterly enthralled. I was listening to the audiobook of this on the train going up to London when I was meeting Eleanor and I was just sat there like, oh my god, what, what, what? And then I bought this when I was in London because I was like, I need the hardback as well. So yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. This opens with a scene that is so tragic and upsetting because the ending of Golden Sun sees a lot of our characters into some really rather bad situations and one of our main characters is included in that and he in this book ends up being trapped in this sort of coffin-like environment and you open with that scene of this dark torturous chamber um, and it's horrendous, absolutely horrendous. I will say this, th this book does have a lot of violence, as does the whole series, which is why it's not a YA series, um, even though it has YA protagonists, it definitely has a lot of violence and swearing and stuff like that, which I'm fine with, but oh my goodness, like, I felt so sorry for the character that we're following in that section, like, so sorry, it was so visceral and so real and such a good description that Pierce Brown manages to get across to the reader that I just felt so genuinely sorry for them and I just was happy it wasn't me but I felt like so bad even though it's a fictional character. Honestly as a whole this really really impressed me. I can't obviously tell you that much about it because I don't want to spoil it if you haven't read the first two or this one but it is so surprising. It has so many twists that I didn't see coming and even the ones that I thought I saw I then second guessed myself and Pierce Brown did stuff that I was like, oh wow, okay, throw that one out there, why don't you? But it was all good, like I really enjoyed the intensity of this story and it felt like 
we were going from one thing to the next thing to the next thing and there was always something intense and exciting happening it was never a dull story like there was never a dull moment in this it was very much punchy action-packed exciting I also really like the fact that this author is not afraid to kill people like that makes me happy because I don't like it when everyone always survives everything and I think in this book although a lot of people are okay at the end like there isn't a terrible ending to this book I do think that people do die and it is sad and it is tragic and we've already seen people die in the previous two books as well which has been sad so I'm glad that he's not afraid to kill people off although let's just say I, I didn't want it to become the Game of Thrones experience where everyone dies like that's not okay I, I want my favourite characters to live but yeah there were some really heart-wrenching gut-wrenching moments where I thought oh my gosh what is happening no you don't go there no don't go there and of course he did go there in some circumstances so I was like what it was insane and crazy in a good way like the whole time I was reading this I was on the edge of my seat excited heart racing wanting to know what was going to happen next and I have to say this is by far an excellent excellent ending to the series I haven't read too many excellent endings to series recently but this one was one of them and Otherland is one of them and yeah there's a couple of others but oh this series just so good I gave this one as a whole five out of five stars I would highly 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 recommend that you check this out and if you have checked it out if you have read it leave me all of your thoughts down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? I know most people from what I've seen on booktube seem to like the ending a lot and I'm very happy with it myself so I can see why but I know there are a few people who have certain complaints so I'd love to be included in the discussion with you guys and as a whole this book did just baffle and excite and intrigue me the whole way through so it was fantastic. Let me know your thoughts below, thank you all for watching and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching my video today. Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again.